Hello YouTube, I am the Definity Gamer and I'm here today to show you how to make lots of Glim in Trove without doing any fishing whatsoever. By earning our Glim using this method, we will also be able to accumulate ores, blocks, and recipes. To get started, we're going to need three materials, Shapestone Ore, Primordial Flame, and an Adventurer's Crafting Bench. This is Shapestone Ore and you can find it in various deposits around the world. This is a primordial flame and it can be found with other ores or sometimes in its own veins as well. The materials are quite common and you may already have some in your inventory so be sure to check before you go farming. Now that we have our materials out of the way, let's go to our adventurous crafting bench and craft some bombs. For every 4 bombs you make, you're going to need 1 primordial flame and 10 shapestone ore. I recommend making about 40 to get started. Now that we have our bombs, we're going to go start using them on some ores scattered around the world. What this is going to do is it's going to drop miners troves. These are boxes that we can open looking for a rare item that we can sell for 2,500 glim. It's an ally called Digsley. It's also worth noting that you can get block recipes from miners troves as well, so you will likely pick up a few of those while you're doing this. Now let's get mining. As you can see, I currently have 26 miners troves. I'm going to go until I have 30, so you can have a good idea of how long it'll take you to get each miners trove. Now let's get mining. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find a cave. Caves are the best place to find ores. If you can't do that, you can find them on the surface. Although I do definitely recommend you try and find a cave, especially a volcanic cave. That'll give you the best ores and a lot of them. There's also a lot of primordial flames down there so you can replenish your bombs much easier. So for this technique what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to throw a bomb into the center of the ore vein. Once you see how it explodes and what's left over you can throw another bomb or two at the remaining pieces to kind of break them up as well. You may have a few pieces left over at the end. You can either mine these out with a laser or just throw another bomb at them. It depends on how many bombs you have and how you're doing on resources, which which technique is probably best for you. So I'm not going to say one's better than the other. It really depends on your situation. Either way, the initial bomb blasts should save you a huge amount of time mining and make sure that you get lots of miner troves quite quickly. So now I'm just going to run around, blow up a bunch more ores, and collect my 30 miner troves. And then I'm going to open them all up and show you what we get. Alright, so now that we're done mining, we're going to open up our miner stroves and see what we get. So I'm just going to click really quickly here, and I'll just point out the important things that we get out of these. So it's just ores, nothing important. There's a shadow gem, those are useful, or shadow diamond. And there's a recipe, and another recipe right after it. Those are block recipes. And there's our first Digsley, that's worth 2,500. There's a second Digsley. Just ores, ores, ores. And a final one is also a Digsley. So we got three Digsleys, 7,500 Glim, just like that, as well as two block recipes and all the ores we collected while doing this. So I think that this is probably the best farming route just because you get so much other stuff as well. I think it's way better than fishing. It's more fun than fishing. You're blowing stuff up. You get lots of blocks as well from your bombs blowing them up as you're mining. So you can collect a lot of different stuff while you're doing this. So this is just one thing left to do. Let's head over to our loot collector and let's see what these Digsleys are going to net us. You'll see 7,500 Glim is going to be the total. And that's all she wrote. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe so I can bring you more great content. If you have any questions or concerns, if there's anything you'd like to see done, or if you know a better farming method, be sure to tell me in a comment below. See you next time.